Hello everyone. Today I'm going to share with you on the before and after concept one item unchanged using model drawing and ratio. This is the outline. First and foremost, we if you are aware, I have shared with you one item unchanged. I have also shared with you total unchanged. Today, we're going to move on to one item unchanged. And in a separate video, I will be talking about all items changed. All right. Okay, for today's uh, discussion question, it's taken from PSLE 2012, paper 2, question 4. It is a two mark question. Okay, let's begin. The ratio of the number of angelfish to that of clownfish in an aquarium was 5 to 4. So I'm going to do a simple annotation. Angelfish, clownfish, 5 to 4. So I'm going to write down the before ratio and the after ratio. So angelfish, I use 8 to represent angelfish and C to represent the clownfish. Okay, let's plug in the first information, which is at first, 5, 2, 4. Now, line 2 tells us that 3 clownfish were sold. Now, when 3 clownfish were sold, that means there is a change in one particular item, which is the clownfish. And the other item, which is angelfish, stays the same. So it is a one item unchanged component. All right. This is this particular concept of constant variable. And the variable that is constant is the angelfish. So we are going to make the angelfish constant. Constant means common multiple using last uh, P, P4 common multiple concept. All right. And the new ratio is 4 to 3. So 4 to 3. Now to make 5 and 4 constant, common, we have to use common multiple, which is 20. So the first ratio times 4 to get 20. The second ratio times 5 to get 20. All right. So okay, let's look at the before ratio. The equivalent ratio becomes 20 is to 16. And the after ratio equivalent fraction, 20 is to 15. So from here, I can conclude that there is a drop in units for clownfish. Right? It drops by one unit. And this one unit has to be three clownfish. Okay, in the question, we know we are asked to find the total number of... We are asked to find... The total number of angelfish and clownfish in ah oh sorry at first one more time we are asked to find the total number of angelfish and clownfish at first so at first which means we are looking at this one here all right so at first we should have a total of let's write right let me write down 20 units plus 16 units so at first there should be 30 six units of fish in the aquarium so to find 36 units all we have to do is to take one unit equals to three so 36 units equals to 36 times three all right that will give us 108 so it is done now i have extended this question to another one part b which i will be showing you using the next slide which is over here 
this one. Okay, so how many angel fish were there in the aquarium? Now, this question is a bit interesting because they ask you for the number of angel fish at first or number of angel fish in the end. It's not stated in the question. It's, it merely asks how many angel fish were there. Right, but if you can remember, the number of angel fish is the constant variable. The number of angel fish is the item that is unchanged. So whether is it before or after, it doesn't matter. All right. So from our previous uh, ratios, before and after ratio, we know that the angel fish before we have 20 units, after we also have 20 units. And we also remember that one unit is 3. So 20 units will be 20 times 3. All right, and that gives us 60. So part B is found. All right, and now I'm going to show you this question using a model drawing. It's the same question, but I'm going to present it using model drawing. Okay, all right, so to do this question, I am going to first and foremost draw a model. Okay. All right, the model looks like this. Okay, so I'm going to use this. Uh, give me a minute. I'm going to use this information first. So, in, uh, sorry, before. Angel, clown, 5 to 4. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. Alright. Okay. Pardon me for not using a ruler. Now, to show this model, the after model 4 to 3, remember, we have to start from the same starting line. Okay. Alright. Okay, now. We remember very clearly that the angel fish is the only item that is unchanged. Angel fish is the constant variable. That means angel fish must have the same ending. Ends here. Okay. All right. And angel fish, if you look at the end ratio, it is four to three. So I'm going to cut this into four parts. And Clown fish three parts like that. Okay, now if you look at the constant variable, these two, all right, we are aware that it is a bit different, definitely. This is five units and this is four units. All right, so to make uh, angel fish the constant variable. To make the angel fish the item that is unchanged, we have to get a common multiple of 20. All right, so this one and this one has to be 20 units. So I have to multiply the five units by four. I have to multiply the four units by five. What does it mean? It means that everything in the first model belonging to angel fish and clown fish will be four units in each tiny in each unit here. So four tiny units here, so four units. Okay, allow me to write this. Give me a minute. Okay, all right, it's a bit squeezy. All right, then the one that is in the after model, everyone will be five units. Because each unit has been multiplied by five. Okay, I'm gonna summarize it for you. Now, angel fish, before angel fish before there should be 20 units in total clown fish before it should be 16 units in total angel fish after 20 units in total and clown fish after 15 units in total so from here, we have to do a simple check. It's confirmed that 
angel fish is constant right is unchanged and clownfish there's a drop of one unit and one unit is three as stated here right okay now that way we should be able to answer part a okay i am not sure where's part a but it's okay part a is here so to find part a the total number of angelfish and clownfish at first is super easy all right at first we have Forty units, right? No. At first, is this part here, All right? So let's write down for you. At first, before twenty units of angelfish and sixteen units of clownfish, that gives us thirty-six units, All right? So meaning at first, thirty-six units will be thirty-six times three. Okay, so 36 times 3 will give us 108. So number uh, part A is done, which is the original PSLE question. Okay, to do part B, to do part B, all right, which is extended by me, how many angel fish were there in the aquarium? All right, as we have discussed in the earlier slides, the angel fish at first should or before and after should be this should be the same because it's the item that is constant the after the item that is unchanged so looking at the model angel fish before angel fish after it is the same 20 units and one unit is three right so 20 times three gives you 60 so there were 60 angel fish in the aquarium whether is it before or after all right, so this question is completed using the model way. Okay, here's a quick recap. Before and after concept one item unchanged, we need to always remember that there should be two variables in the question. Right? It's simply indicated in the question and there should be two variables in the before ratio and after ratio. Alright, the two variables are two items and one of them has to be constant kept the same and the other one must change okay now so the one that is constant the, the one that is not changing has to be to equal to each other so this is only possible if we use the p4 concept of common multiple so the p4 concept of common multiple help us to tackle this question quite easily okay now, we have completed discussing this concept of one item unchanged. In my coming video, I will be sharing with you all items changed, which is the external change. All right, if you find my today's sharing uh, very clear, easily understood, all right, don't forget to like my video. And if you find that, you know, if you remember uh, friends or any parties that are interested in knowing before and after concept, whether is it via ratio or model drawing, do share with them. All right? And to receive uh, my videos that will be uploaded, okay, remember to subscribe and click on the notification bell. All right okay and thank you for watching thank you for listening All right okay take care